Tonight, dozens of concerned parents gathered for an emergency meeting at Cheltenham High School. It comes just three days after police say a student brought a loaded gun to a football game. CBS Philadelphia's Kerry Corrado has more on the steps being taken to keep this from happening again. The superintendent says he held this meeting for transparency and to address the situation. He says that he values the collaboration, the teamwork, and the voice of the parents to keep the students safe. Friday was that wake up call for us. Let's step out there, let's have a town hall, and let's figure out as a community what do we need to do differently. Concerned parents filled the little theater at Cheltenham High School. Superintendent Dr. Brian Shriven wanted to make sure parents were on the same page after police say a Cheltenham student brought a gun to an away football game at Abington High School. Now we know where they stand. I have a baseline. Now I have to take all of that feedback and put it into actionable next step. This all started on Friday when police say they arrested a student at halftime for having a loaded ghost gun. The football game was suspended that night. Many parents say they were at the game and one of the main concerns was communication. We need to be proactive. We need to get in front of these things before they start, not afterwards. Sheltonham does have a home football game on Thursday. School officials say there will be more security, including screening and wands. They say there will be extra lighting and walkie talkies for a clear line of communication. By taking those extra precautionary measures, that we can at least show people uh, that. We are taking this seriously. Superintendent Scriven says he knows parents have a ton of questions and they won't solve everything right away as change takes time. He says they are working alongside police to come up with a plan to fill gaps and come up with a long term resolution moving forward. We really have faith in the administrators and the Cheltenham Police Department. That was a great meeting. I graduated from this high school. I know that there are holes in what's going on, but I think if there is community and more of a plan, we can all help and make this work together. The Abington School District says they are working with Abington Police to review protocols and evaluate additional layers of security to keep students safe. Kerry Corrado, CBS News, Philadelphia.